Hello! Welcome to Borderline Games. Uh, we're playing uh, Danganronpa again. Uh, last time we were told to kill each other or be in this uh, college forever. It might give us a little uh, catch up. Begin from where you left off, is that okay? Yes! You must kill someone if you want to leave. My mind froze and my breath caught in my throat as I thought about that. I could feel a paralyzing fear slowly making its way through my body, dominating every last nerve. The air hung heavy on me, pressing down like a weight around my neck. It took everything I had just to endure that weight. To survive. So is everyone going to try and kill me because I'm an easy target? But for as heavy as the air felt, all it took to pierce it was her sharp words. So, what are you going to do now? Just stand around glaring at each other. Her pointed comment was directed at everyone in the room. It helped pull us all back to reality. Right, she's right. Listen to me. Sometimes, even if you're nervous or afraid, you just have to step forward <laughs> to forget such a simple fact. I can't forgive myself. I'm so ashamed. You hear me? Please, someone hit me. I can't forgive myself. Somebody hit me. Punish me. Huh? Jesus. If you have time to yell about it, you have time to do something about it. However, perhaps. But what is the mission exactly? Stupid. Idiot. To look for a way out, duh. What the? And we totally need to find whoever was controlling that stupid bear and beat the hell out of him. But, but... But before we do all that, maybe we should take a look at the handbook. It's probably best to check out the school regulations Monokuma mentioned before doing anything else. This is fine. True. If we stumble around with no clue of what the rules are, something like that might happen again. Shit. All right. So then. Fine. Then let's hurry up and check out the stupid rules already. Makoto and I, uh, Naigi. After turning on my e handbook, the first thing that appeared was my name. So just like Monokuma uh, said, the owner's name showed up front and center. Then, from the main menu that popped up, I selected the school regulations icon. An itemized list appeared on screen. It was the school regulations. In other words, the rules being imposed on all of us. Students may reside only within the school. Leaving campus is an unacceptable use of time. Night time is from 10 to 7. Some areas are off limits at night, so please exercise caution. Sleeping anywhere other than the dormitory would be uh, seen as sleeping in class and punished accordingly. With minimal restrictions, you are free to explore Hope's Peak Academy at your discretion. Violence against the Headmaster Monokuma is strictly prohibited, as is destruction of surveillance cameras. Anyone who kills a fellow student and becomes blackened will graduate, unless they are discovered. Additional school regulations may be added as necessary. Feeling a slight dizziness, I raised my face up from the screen. As I looked around, I saw the same stormy expression on everyone's faces. Stop fucking around. This is bullshit. What the hell kind of rules are these? I'm not going to let them control me. <laughs> well then, why don't you wander around the school without a care in the world and see what happens? Personally, I would love to see what happens when someone breaks one of the rules. However... But if he got punished, like what we saw before, I don't think there'd be a respawn waiting for him. Yo. I. Ever since I was a kid, I grew up with my older brother pounding this into my head. When a man makes a promise, he has to keep it, even if it kills him. 
And... So what? What? I made a ton of promises that I still have to keep. That's so what. Piece of shit! <laughs> so I can't afford to die in here. <sighs> None of that made much sense to me. But you are saying you will follow the regulations, is that it? That's true. Huh? Oh, well, yeah. I guess you're right. Um... Hey, um, I have a question. For regulation number six, what do you think it means exactly? Anyone who kills a fellow uh, student and becomes black and will graduate unless they're discovered. You're talking about the second half, right? Where it says unless they are discovered. I was wondering about that myself. Hmm. It's saying that if you want to graduate, you have to kill someone without finding any, uh, without anyone finding out it was you. But, but why? Why do we ha have to do that? I don't see any reason to worry about it. Just worry about following the rules as they've been explained to us. Such ignorance. Frankly, I don't want to hear anything from someone who waits for others to decide what to do for them. <laughs> don't jab, jab at me. Give me a break. More like a full-on stab. Hmm. Well, for now, let's forget all that silly junk about murderers or whatever. Okay. Now that we know the rules, let's start exploring the school. Hmm. True. We need to find out where exactly we are. Is there any way out? What about food and supplies? You understand? There are tons of questions we need to answer. Let's do it! Damn straight. Okay, then let's all start looking around. Hm. I'll be going alone. What? What? Why? That's a pretty stupid idea, don't you think? Hm. Someone here might already have started thinking about murdering one of us. Are you saying we should stand around with them in our midst and make it that much easier for them? Wait, wait, hold on a second. That would never... What? Don't bother saying it. Couldn't happen. You can't deny the possibility. That's why you all seized up with fear when that graduation rule was made clear to you. <laughs> Am I wrong? Uh, um... But... but... Hmm. So, I'm simply acting in accordance with what I think is best for me. Just hold on. Hold on. Like hell, I'm gonna let you run off and do whatever you want. What? Out of my way, Plankton. What? Well, the fuck's that supposed to mean? Such ignorance. One tiny bit of Plankton drifting across the sea. So minuscule, so insignificant, they couldn't possibly have any kind of influence on the boundless ocean. You're fucking dead. I'm gonna kick your ass. So, stop it, we shouldn't fight. What? The fuck you just say? You some kind of goody goody little bitch! You wanna throw down? Who do you think you are talking to me like that? You think you're my fucking dad or something? No, no, I wasn't. You son of a bitch. Fuck you! Wham! He punched me, and I flew back in a heap. It was like something straight out of a comic book. I didn't even see the punch coming. It was just suddenly right there in my face. One second I was standing there, the next I was soaring through the air. Now that I think about it, maybe I'd kind of forgotten. The kind of people I've been trapped here with. My common sense had just stopped functioning. Being around all these ultimates had blown my fuses. So I guess I shouldn't be surprised it led to something as absurd as this. But I'd just lost track of that sense of reality. <clears throat> that was my last thought as my consciousness started to fade before it finally cut out completely. And when I finally opened my eyes again, what I saw was... <laughs> huh? Wh where am I? As if it become part of my daily routine, I woke up in yet another room I'd never seen before. Okay, so... Where am I now? You now have access to the handbook menu. You can use this to check a variety of information as you play. Open the handbook menu by pressing the F1 key. Okay. You can use this uh, this menu to check the school regulations and character info in the report card section. At certain points, uh, map and truth bullets may not be available. Truth bullets. You can also save and load game data under the system, uh, system section. 
Finally, press F2 key to review the transcript. This records all uh, pertinent info, so use this to review comments from everyone involved. Alright. Oh. There's some kind of metal plate mounted here. Okay. More security. Surveillance camera. Oops. Hate the idea that someone might be watching me right now. We're not allowed to mess with the camera, so I better make sure I don't touch it. Uh... Oops. Done that. This is what I'm looking at. It's a notepad. I guess the school must have given one to each of us. Okay, not very interesting. Door. Oh, there's a key there. There's a piece of paper hanging up on the wall, which says... Announcement from Head Mr. Monokuma. Each room's lock has been designed to completely protect against tampering or lockpicking. We're making an individual room key is quite troublesome, so please make sure not to lose yours. Your room comes furnished with a shower, but please note that the water is turned off at night time. Also, the bathrooms in the girls' rooms include a lock of, each, of their own. Finally, we've prepared a small gift for each of you. For the girls, a sewing kit. And for the boys, a tool kit. The sewing kit includes a map of the body's vital organs. One stab will do the job, girls. For the boys, we believe a strong blow to the head with any of the tools should be ample. Don't think, just feel. And let's all enjoy ourselves. I crumpled up the sheet of paper and threw it in the trash. Okay, key here. This must be the key to the room. My name's written on the keychain. Which means it must be mine, right? I better hang on to it for now. Uh... Oh, I see. I thought it was another camera. Some kind of lint roller, I guess we're supposed to clean up after ourselves? Uh, how did I spin it around again? That's as far as I can go. i just try and get to that bin, but I guess I can't. Looks like this door leads outside. It's locked. But some of the rooms have locks, sir. So. Okay. <laughs> Sprite chair, just completely compressed. There doesn't seem to be anything particularly strange about the bed. Okay. This would appear to be the bathroom. Oh, huh. It's not opening. I guess it's locked. So how do I use my key? Truth bullets. Review evidence and witness accounts you've made a record of. I see. Review whatever personal belongings you have on you. It's not much that. Port card regulation system. Shouldn't me. Oh, that's just the regulations. Okay. So, to, dis to observe the room you're in, this will display what people and objects you can interact with. Okay. Some kind of monitor. Yeah. But now I should look around the room, okay? I've already done that, right? Yeah, done that. What have I not clicked on? Oh! Down here. Further. Oh, hang on. There we go. Just an everyday trash can. I don't see any kind of trap door or hidden compartments or anything. All that's in the trash can is paper I wanted up and threw away. Nice. Uh, okay. That's as far as I can go that way. Looks like there's something in the drawer. It's a toolkit. It must be brand new. It's still in the shrink wrap. I don't really need it right now, so I'll just leave it. <laughs> I 
I'm pretty sure he's going to be back. Uh, okay, sleeping anywhere other than the dormitory will be seen as sleeping in class and punished accordingly. This is my assigned dorm room. Someone must have carried me here after I fell unconscious. So that answers that question. The next question is, what's everyone else up to right now? There's only one way to find out. And that's to get out of here. Okay. Alright. Leave the area. Yes. I rushed out of the room to meet up with all the others. But there was someone waiting for me there. It was like something out of an old TV show. Wham. Ah! Ah! <laughs> oh. oh! Sayaka? Sayaka? S sorry. Are you okay? Uh, I'm fine. I hope you're okay. Sorry about that. She had an embarrassed smile on her face. I stood up slowly. Are you okay, Sayaka? Are you hurt? <laughs> you make it sound worse than it is. I'm completely fine. Is the reason you hate her because it's a spoiler? Uh, otherwise, tell me why you hate her. Just because she's annoying. Where did he see a smile on her? I know how I look, but I've actually built some pretty good muscle jumping up and down on stage. Oh, this is the pop star, right? That's good then. Um, but are you okay? You know from when Mondo hit you? That's true. I got knocked out right uh, there in front of everyone. I guess I revealed uh, my lack of cool right from the beginning. Makoto. <laughs> Makoto? Oh, uh, I'm fine. Nothing wrong here. That's good. <laughs> Poppy are you? Oh, okay. I guess that's one reason. Oh, that's good. I was kind of worried. <laughs> Thanks. By the way, what are you doing here? Uh, um... Actually, I came to get you. You came to get me? Um, listen... Well, if you really are feeling better, I was hoping you could come to the dining hall. The dining hall. You see. After you got knocked out, everyone decided to go and do their own thing. We decided it would be more effective if we split up to investigate. So we agreed to get together later on and talk about what we'd do, what we'd each found out. So does that mean it's almost time to get back together? If that's what's going on, then of course I'll go with you. That's good. Good. I'll go on ahead and meet you at the dining hall then. All right, okay, let's have a look where the dining hall is. All this talk about dining rooms has got you hungry, is it? Um, okay. There's the dining hall. Here, right? Oops. This must be the dormitory dining hall. Um, um, looks pretty clean, so that's good. Uh, I guess that's not really important right now. With us being prisoners here and all. Yeah, that's true. Nobody was there waiting for us. We don't really have much choice. I guess we should just wait here for now. <laughs> hmm. Okay, let's just wait here. Huh? You heard that? Like I said, I'm psychic. Like I said, I'm psychic. <laughs> Come on, I'm just kidding. Seriously, I just have amazing intuition. Is it really just intuition? It's kind of sudden, I know. But here comes the tutorial. Oh, okay. Right now, I'd like to talk about reactions. I'm going to be talking to Sayaka, right? Well, while you're talking to her, some purple words are going to appear. And here's how they work. Okay. Let's see. No, I, I wasn't familiar. I just guessed. Oh, are you familiar with reactions? Well, just in case, let me explain. 
When purple words show up, if you press the right mouse button, you'll go into reaction mode. At this point, you can use the WASD buttons to make a selection and the left mouse to confirm it. Also, when it comes to that dialogue, you can review whatever you talked about to look for more info. Oh, I like that mechanic. Talking to someone about things like this is called a reaction. Okay, do your best to enjoy your ever-important school life. Okay. Ah, have you gone ahead and used it already? Well, that's just wonderful. Make sure you keep it in mind as the story keeps on moving forward. Oh, okay. Let's see if there's any hey, purple um... words. By the way, Makato. Huh? What is it? Um... Uh, well, it's just... You know, this is kind of... Okay, continuing the self-introduction thing. But I wanted to ask you something. Oh, so what do I... Okay. The action. Continuing our self-introduction... Oh, so i got to select with the... Arrow oh, the A W A S D keys, it said. Continuing our self-introductions. Uh, um... We kind of got cut off before. I had a question I wanted to ask you. Saka wants to ask me something. I wonder what it is. Now I'm really curious. Okay. Ask me then. Hey, um. Okay. By the way, Makato. Um. Okay, we did. Yeah, okay. Let's see. That one we want to ask. What did you want to ask me? Hmm. Makoto, did you happen to go to Blackroot Junior High? Were you maybe in class two? It, yeah, actually, I was. Ah. I knew it. I went there too. I was in class four, though. Do you remember me? Do I remember? Even back in middle school, she was a celebrity with all kinds of ultimates surrounding her. How could I forget? Almost as surprising as her question was that she remembered me. We never even talked to each other, but somehow she still knew who I was. Hey, um... Hey, are you okay? Oh, yeah, I'm just surprised is all. I wouldn't have thought you'd remember me. We <laughs> went to the same school for three years, of course I remember. Well, that's true, but there are lots of students in our grade, right? Plus, I've never been the type of person to ever really stand out. I'm average at everything and all my hobbies are totally normal. Even normal would call me boring. Aww. What are you talking about? You're so strange. S strange? That's... <laughs> <laughs> she started giggling even louder. That somehow mysterious smile of hers made my heart grow calmer. Her smile was the nicest smile I'd ever seen. That's good. Anyway, I'm really glad that I know somebody here. <sighs> Talking to you has made me feel a lot better about all this. You're amazing, Makoto. No, no I'm really not. I'm nothing at all compared to all you ultimates. <laughs> but you're the one that helped me find my courage again. Not any of those ultimate students. Thank you for saying that. Okay. And to thank you for helping me out, I'm going to become your ultimate assistant. Okay. Huh? My assistant? Yep, I'm your assistant now. I'm going to help you out as much as I can, so let's get out of here together. When she says things like that, it it just gets me pumped up. Which is nice, but still, everyone else is still late. Besides that, I don't even know what time it is right now. There must be a clock around here somewhere. Clock. There's a clock. Uh... So what time is it right now? What? Seven o'clock at night? I don't even see the... Uh, um... What's it, the hands? You were unconscious for a pretty long time. I see. Without being able to look out a window, I've lost all sense of time. If I have to stay in this place for too long, I might just go crazy. Hey, um... I can't believe no one, no one's here yet, but I'm sure they'll start showing up soon. Almost like he timed it. Taka threw open the dining hall doors, right as Sayaka said that. Hey! Ah, Makoto, Sayaka. So you two got here first, huh? How Too bad. I was sure I'd beat everyone here. I guess that just means I don't have enough fighting spirit yet. <laughs> Ace Attorney Munch. Well, I won't give up. Next time I swear I'll, I'll win no matter what it takes. Justice shall always prevail. <laughs> That's a bit much, don't you think? And soon after that, everyone else came strolling in one after another. After a few minutes, 
Everyone had gathered in the dining hall. Okay, it looks like everyone's here. Time to start the meeting. Let's all go around and share what we found out during our respective investigations. The sooner we find out what's going on, the sooner we get out of here. Hold on a sec. Wait, hold on a sec. What are you talking about? What's wrong? Hmm. What about, uh, what's her name? You know, the silver-haired girl. <sighs> uh, oh yeah, Kyoko. Hmm. What about her? She's not here. What? I took another look around the dining hall. Sure enough, she was nowhere to be seen. Um... I wonder where she went. Has anyone seen her? But everyone just shook their heads. Huh? Wait, so nobody's seen her? Why hasn't Kyoko shown up yet? Could it be because... Yes, indeed! Stabbing! Strangling! Bludgeoning, crushing, hacking, drowning, igniting, how do you how you do it doesn't matter. You must kill someone if you want to leave. It's as simple as that. The rest is up to you. Give it your all to achieve the best outcome in the worst possible way. Is it possible? Was she really? No, no. I'm just overthinking things. Darn it, Kyoko. You're really going to be late like this on the first day of school. Not only is she late, she didn't tell anyone she would be late. A most unbecoming personality straight. Trait. You're being a real jackass right now. You know that. Well, what do you want me to do? Punctuality is everything. You hear me? Now then, I declare that the first session of the Hope's Peak Academy briefing meeting has begun. Um... Makoto, actually. First of all, I've talked enough. Maybe we should listen to what everyone else has to say. Okay, let's do that. Mm hmm You know... Huh? What's up? I feel like I really have become your personal assistant, don't you agree? Maybe she's planning a long con. I may not be the best assistant in the world, but I'll give it everything I've got. No, you've already done so much as my assistant. Alright, so now we've, we've got to talk to everybody, I guess. I can't highlight you. Okay. Maybe I've got to just talk to Sayaka. Um. Okay, so since you're in the dark about uh, all of this, let me lay out what's been going on. Everyone split up to investigate different parts of the building, but. You see. Oh. Ayaka and Taka went off on their own, and so did Kyoko. Okay. I wanted to try and find some clues as to who's responsible for imprisoning us here. But unfortunately, I made no such discoveries that that's all for me. That's all for me. Really? That's it? Hm. If I'd uncovered uh, anything, naturally I would have more to say. But I didn't, so I don't. Uh, right. Understood. Okay. So do I need to talk to Siaka to get more information in general? Yeah, it looks like it. Um, okay. Okay. See. Right. I spent some time looking around the dormitory, and Listen to me. there I made the discovery of the century. I found that there was exactly one room for each person. Well, yeah, I figured that out before anyone else. Anything else? Yeah. Each door already has a nameplate on it, so I guess all the rooms have been assigned already. Huh. And each room key is, was attached to a keychain, with the owner's name pre uh, precision etched onto it. Which confirms that the room I was in earlier is, in fact, my room. And plus. And Chihiro and I found out that all the rooms are totally soundproof. Your next door neighbour could scream the lungs out, and you wouldn't hear a thing. <laughs> well, each room also had a private bathroom, which could also lock. Mm. But it looked like there were only locks on the bathrooms in the girls', girls dorms. Huh? But when I checked my bathroom door before, it definitely seemed like it was locked. That's weird. I should double check that later. Hey, come on. 
Okay. So they got a bunch of rooms ready for us. They're assuming we're ready, uh, we're going to be here a while. Quiet down and listen. Well, better to have them than not. At least we don't have to worry about surviving like wild animals. <sighs> the, that can't be all you have to re report, can it, Mr. Honor Student? Got it. That's all for my report. Let's move on to whoever next. Okay. Okay. Um. Yes. But you see. we've done those two. Ah, okay. Uh, looks like Leon, Hero, Junko, and Jahiro all moved up. Okay. We went all up and down the school, double checking the windows and all the hallways and classes. We wanted to see if we could get any of those metal plates to come off. And what happened was. Hmm. Nothing. Not a damn thing. We couldn't get a single one to budge, even a little bit. What should I do? There wasn't any hope of escape anywhere. The school really has been totally cut off. This is bad. This sucks. Bad, bad, it bad, bad. Really bad. sucks. It sucks, 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 sucks. What the hell are we gonna do? Hey, come on. God damn, calm down. You're starting to make me nervous. Okay, so we've got to go through this whole dialogue again. Alright, done that, done that. Okay, here we go. We thought maybe we could find some way to communicate with the outside, so we went looking all over. Sorry. But we didn't find a thing, sorry. Yo. I went to come back to the main hall, thinking maybe we could do something about that giant hunk of metal. What? But even with Sakura and me both, it wouldn't budge. We hit it with desks and chairs and nothing. It was hard as, like, metal. Yes, indeed. Well, yes, it is metal. This anyway, sucks. if we're going to get out of here, it's not going to be through here, through there. I feel like I just, uh, I feel like I could just cry. But no, I have to hold it in. I have to manage my hydration. So then. I shall tell you what happened next. It has nothing to do with the communication with the outside world, but it's still worth uh, it's still worth worrying about. In both the school and dorm areas, there was a set of stairs leading up to another floor. But, but there were gates there, and we couldn't find any way to open them, so we couldn't check it out. In other words, at this point we were able to uh, search the first floor. However, hello, Ivysaur. How's it going? We can further assume that there is potentially something above the second floor as well. And if that's the case, there is at least a chance it may lead to a, uh, to a way out. Alright. Um, okay, since you knew, uh, since you're in the dark about all this... You see. Did that. Did that. Okay. Let's see. If I'm being honest, I can't quite say we acted as one. Rather, we did nothing as one. We spent the entire time in the gym. Most unfortunate. Honestly, we are not looking the types to go running around the school like a gaggle of junior detectives. What the hell's wrong with you? What the hell were you thinking just sitting around the gym the whole time? <laughs> well, well, it's not like any of you invited me uh, uh, along. Nobody said, hey, hey, come, come with us. I blame you for leaving me out. It, it's your fault. What the? If you wanted to go with someone, you should have just said something. <laughs> hmm. Forget it. Like I would want to go anywhere with a dirty slut like you, Jesus. Huh? Slut! <laughs> your mind is a, as, as thin as your body. You may make me sick to my st stomach. Are you for real? I, I don't even know how to react. How can you say something awful, so awful to someone you just met? Hey, come on. All right, guys. Everyone, just calm down, okay? All this stress is bad for your skin, you know. Yeah, it sounds like you two are so close now, you're fighting like sisters. I don't think that's what's going on, Sayaka. Hey, um... So that's what they have to say, huh? Then I guess I'm the only one left. Alright then. Um... I went and had a look around the dining hall. I found a fridge in the back of the kitchen and it was overflowing with all kinds of stuff. That's good. I guess we don't have to worry about food at least. What? Sure, for now. But even with all that, there are 15 of us. How long can the food last? <laughs> yeah, 
You can just eat sesame seeds or something. Huh? What am I, a parakeet? I don't think we have to worry about it. All the food gets restocked automatically each day. Um... At least that's what uh, Monokumu said. Huh? You saw him. Okay. Yeah, he came out of nowhere while I was checking the fridge, told me that, and then disappeared again. He was so fast, I can't believe someone could have been moving him around with... Uh, I can't believe someone could have been moving him around with a remote control. That's... A uh, weaponized toy that can just appear from nowhere. I can't tell if we're supposed to be afraid or not. But... But was everything okay? He didn't try to, like, eat you or anything. <laughs> Eater? Uh, what do you mean by that? I mean, when you say eat, what kind of eating are we talking about? <laughs> Come on, man. Hey, you bastard. What the hell, fatty? You're acting like some kind of sleazy drunk dude. Actually, not like there's a good kind of drunk dude. Hey, hey stop screwing around, all of you. Are you still asleep or something? We're prisoners here. We could all just die any second. <laughs> Shit. She's right. We can't be making stupid jokes right now. We gotta do something, or. A voice cut through the noise, interrupting Mondo. Oh, you're all spending an awful lot of time yelling and carrying on. Mm -hmm. Oh, do you really think you can afford to do so? Have none of you accepted the reality of the situation? Yo! Kyoko, where the heck have you been? We already started the meeting without you. She didn't say a word, instead she just dropped a piece of paper on the table. Huh? What's this? It appears to be a map of Hope's... Uh, oh, it appears to be a map of Hope's Peak Academy. A map? Oh, hang on, that was her that was talking. Well, what the? Where did you find this? Wow. It doesn't matter where I found it. What the heck? It does matter. You're really freaking us out right now. But more important... Never mind that. What's it mean? It would seem... Just look at it. The building we're in right now is laid out in precisely the same way as Hope's Peak Academy. So what you're saying is, this really is Hope's Peak Academy? It's true. Well, in terms of its construction, yes. But it looks like it's had a number of strange renovations done to it. Renovations? However... I don't know all the details yet, but all I found was details about the first floor. Um... But then, this really is Hope's Peak. We didn't get kidnapped and taken to some other place. So stupid, it's not even possible. This is where the country's future elites are supposed to come and learn. But, but if this really is Hope's Peak, where are all the other students? Mm. Hey, come on guys, let's just stop talking about all this, you know, negative stuff. But aren't you worried? Things don't look good. Yo. Worried? What's there to be worried about? I mean, this was all planned out, right? The people in charge of Hope's Peak put this all together, right? <laughs> Man, if I got stressed every time something like this happened, I'd have ectoplasm coming out of my, shooting out my mouth. You know? Good thing. Good things come to those who wait, right? We just have got to chill and everything will work itself out. <laughs> <laughs> What's your problem? Why are you la laughing? What's so for funny? <laughs> I'm just happy, that is all. It seems splitting up to investigate was a good idea after all. Haven't you been been listening? Looking around was a total total waste of time. We didn't find a way out. We didn't find who's behind this. We still have no idea what's going on. Oh. Huh? Is it not crystal clear to you what's going on? Are you okay with this? It is perfectly obvious uh, that we have been imprisoned in some secret location with no way out. None of us had any response to that. We didn't want to accept that reality, but it was start staring us right in the face. You did, didn't have to go and say that. I was to try not to think think about it. N no way out. We're ch ch trapped here. What are we, we supposed to do? <laughs> it's very simple. If you want to leave, you just have to kill. Stop it! Don't even joke about that. Um... Everyone, just calm down, please. We need to stop and think about what to do from here. Seems like... There's got to be something we can do. <laughs> All we can do is adapt. Adapt to living our lives here from now on. That's... L live here. Are you saying we should just accept it? Do you understand? A lack of adaptability is a lack of survivability. 
Survival is not based on who is the strongest or the smartest. It comes down to who can adapt. Actually. As someone who has come out on top more than once, I have a suggestion. What? Huh? What do you mean? Hmm. We all understand that we are trapped here, which means we will be spending the night. However, you all remember the rules regarding nighttime, right? Nighttime is from 10 to 7 a.m. Some areas are off limits at night, so please exercise caution. Sleeping anywhere other than the dormitory will be seen as sleeping in class and punished accordingly. Let's see. So regarding this night time, I think we need to add a rule of our own. What do you mean? <laughs> going out at night time should be prohibited altogether. The school regulations do not actually tell us not to go out at night. I would like to make it official. Huh? But why? Are you okay with this? The way things are now, every uh, time night comes we will all start to get worried and anxious. <laughs> we'll all be afraid. Someone might try and come kill us. What? What? <laughs> if we have to worry about the nights after night for who knows how long, it'll wear us down in no time. I see. So you're suggesting we limit our activity at night as a kind of preventative me measure? Indeed. However, unlike the other rules, nobody can be forced to comply. We all have to agree to follow it. What can we do? I see what you mean, but I think I can agree to that. It's like the little goth Lolita said. Without something like that, we're just going to self-destruct. Listen to me! On behalf of all the men here, I agree to comply. What? Hey, you can't just decide to speak for us. This is fine. So everyone is in agreement? Good. <laughs> then if you will excuse me. Huh? Huh? Wait. Where are you going? Let's see. It is almost night time. I want to take a shower before it arrives. I hope you are well. So goodbye. Moving with pure elegance, Celeste left the dining hall. Her behaviour seemed so natural I couldn't imagine anyone uh, even trying to stop her. Um... So, so I guess it's pretty obvious where we can go from here. We're spending the night it looks like. Huh. Adaptability. Hmm. So, Mr Chairman, what next? One person already left. Hmm. Hmm. Well then, what say we call an end to today's meeting? You understand? Like she said, it's almost night time anyway. We can reconvene first thing tomorrow morning. Do we really have to stay the night here? What can we do? We don't have a choice. We can't go for long without getting some sleep. <sighs> this sucks. So we have to just give up. <sighs> That's all for fine and good for today. Today, But what do we do tomorrow? So in the end... Our only option is to split up and look around again. And let everyone know if we find anything. Hmm. Yeah, okay. Let's do that. Aww. Then we're done for today. Good, I'm exhausted. With heavy mo uh, movements, everyone headed off to their private rooms. Um... Makoto. Oh, Makoto, are you ready to call it a day? Yeah, let's go. So what's going on with my bathroom door then? Is this really where I'll be staying for the foreseeable future? Oh, that's right, I should check the bathroom one more time before I go to bed. Only the girls' bathrooms have locks on them, right? Alright, let's open it up. It's no use. It really is locked. Oh! Wrong! Not locked! Holy crap! Jeez! Talk about an overreaction! It's like you just saw a ghost or something! Like? Some kind of robot bear ghost! What are you doing here? What? Makoto Naegi! This is super duper majorly bad! So bad, it's almost magical! Ultra magical awful awful attack! Uh -huh. In point of fact, I acknowledge that the bathroom in your room has a problem with the door frame! Wait, so the reason it won't open isn't because it's locked. The, do the door just doesn't fit. Hey, um... Didn't you see the notice? What? Can't you read? The bathroom is... Uh, the bathrooms in the boys' rooms don't have locks! Yeah. I mean, a lock on a boys' bathroom! It's kind of pointless, don't you think? Ba -bum, ba -bum. Well, it's not that it's pointless, I guess. But I'm no expert on the birds and the birds and the bees and all that. Listen up. Anyway, there's a little trick to opening this particular ill-fitting door. And that's what I'm here to teach you! 
Okay, ready? So you just gotta turn the doorknob. Then lift it up while you pull. Yes, indeed. Go ahead, give it a try. Turn the doorknob and lift the door up while I pull. When I did that, the door opened without a problem. <laughs> See? It opened right up. Isn't that crazy though? Your door's the only one that doesn't fit quite right. You're supposed to be the ultimate uh, lucky student, right? But looks like you're not lucky at all. Bye -bye. Anyway, I still don't feel like being here anymore. Bye! Hey, wait! Damn it. Ding dong bing bong. <laughs> this is a school announcement. It is now 10 p.m. Okay. As such, it is officially night time. Soon the doors to the dining hall will be locked, and entry at that point is strictly prohibited. Okay then, sweet dreams everyone. Good night, sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. Looks like it's night time. We all promised we wouldn't leave our rooms now. All I can do now is try and get some sleep. While still mumbling to myself, I collapsed on into bed. My eyes closed almost immediately. It's not that I was ready for bed exactly. I was just utterly exhausted. It was as if I'd spent an entire day spent uh, staring at a TV watching movies. Or like some kind of illusion where I'd been tossed into a made-up fantastical wor world. Yeah, that feels about right. There's no easy way to just accept the situation we've suddenly been dropped into. So this is how the curtain closed on my first day at Hope's Peak Academy. Soon enough I was asleep. Would it be too much to hope that when I woke up, I'd realise it was all a dream? It's kind of lame as far as endings go, but I'd be fine with that. Actually, that'd be the best. In any normal school, Mr. Monokuma would be a kind of teacher, would be a kind teacher. But when I think about what's coming up, I'm just so full of pride and joy. Our ceremony earlier today was absolutely splendid. Thank you all very much. Remember that you're all students of Hope's Peak Academy and strive to revi refine your ideals. I swear to you, I will send you all off into a new tomorrow. Bing bong. Good morning, everyone. It is now 7 a.m. and nighttime is officially over. Time to rise and shine. Get ready to greet another beautiful day. Apparently it's morning, but thanks to the total lack of windows, there's no way to know that for sure. Anyway, what should I do now? Maybe I should go find Sayaka and we can figure out where to go from here to uh, together. She did say that she's my assistant now. Okay, it's decided. I'm going to head to her room. With a newfound determination, I left my room. Oh, what do you want? Good morning, Makoto. G good morning. <laughs> yes, morning greetings are quite a delight. Such an energizing way to start the day. You understand? Now then, let's make sure we uh, both do our very best throughout the day. Sh sure. I wonder if he's always like this. Okay. Uh, which is her room then? Hmm. Is it... Oh, it'll say on the door. I think it's this one. Yeah. There's a door next to the room. I guess I should use that. Ding dong. Hello. Good morning, Sayaka. Hi, Makoto. Oh, Makoto. Perfect timing. Um, listen. listen. I have a favor to ask. A favor? I was just getting ready to head out, if it's okay. Would you like to come with me? Maybe we could talk. Yeah, sure. Where are you headed? Uh, um. Oh, um... I've been thinking that there might be something around here I could use for self-defense. Self-defense? Um. Well, I mean, whoever's keeping us here could show up and attack us any time. You never know. 
Whoever trapped us here. Whoever presented us with rules for murdering each other. Whoever put us in this insane position. She's right. We never know when uh, they might attack. Um... So I just, uh, want to be able to protect myself no matter what happens. A weapon to protect... Oh, a weapon to protect myself. Well, now that I think about it, that display case in the gym at entryway had a bunch of stuff. Maybe. <laughs> oh, the gym. Okay, let's go. Again? Like I said, I'm psychic. <laughs> Come on, I'm just kidding. Seriously, I have just amazing intuition. <laughs> Am I really so easy to predict? Anyway, we should head to the gym. For anyone who just hates walking around the school, we've got some good news. You can now teleport using the map selection of the handbook. Okay, awesome. It's as simple as opening the map menu and choosing where you want to go. However, you can only teleport to hallways and marked uh, waypoints. Of course, you can't teleport to places you haven't been or places that are blocked off. Depending on certain story moments, there will be times when you won't be able to teleport at all. Finally, try not to teleport inside any walls. There's a chance you could get lost forever. Well then, good luck and have fun. Uh, okay. Map. Okay. Oh, hang on. Where's the... Laundry. Dormitory first floor. We're not supposed to be going to the gym, right? So that's the dining hall. Bathhouse. Oh, we're on the wrong floor. How do I go down the floor? There we go. Hey, um. Here we go. I might be able to find something here to protect myself with. Hmm. Yeah, I'm sure I'll find something in the display case I can use. And this is a sword. Is this a sword? Oh no, I think it's just a replica. Still, it's pretty impressive. It's completely covered in a gold coating. But... Jeez, I barely touched it and I got that gold stuff all over my hands. Uh, um... Wow, you're right. Your hands are totally gold. Even just for self-defense, I think it's a little... Well, it's still better than nothing, I guess. Hey! You should take it with you. It might help liven up your room a little. You think so? <laughs> but I guess you'd better be careful taking it back. You should wrap it in a newspaper or something. And just like that, it's been decided. I don't see anything I could really use for self-defense. <laughs> hey, don't worry about it now. It's not like you need it right away, right? Plus, if anything were to happen, when the time comes, I'll protect you. Huh? You'll protect me? <laughs> Thank you for saying that. If I've got... Uh, you on my side, I guess I don't need a weapon after all. See, I could giggle as she said that. That mysterious smile. I can tell it comes from the heart. It makes me feel at ease. When I look at her, I honestly feel like I can do anything. <laughs> okay, we can stop looking for a weapon then. But as long as we're here, let's hang out a bit more. I said I wanted to talk to you, but now that we're here, I don't really know what to talk about. Sorry. And I was the one who invited you to come here, too. Sorry. It's okay. I mean, if there's nothing to talk about, then we can just not talk, right? Huh? Huh? You don't have to force yourself to talk. We can just, I don't know, stare off into space or whatever. Hmm. Stare off into space? Oh, but you're probably, uh, you're probably super bored just standing around doing nothing. Uh, um... No, it's not that it's boring. It's just... Uh... I've never really done it before. I don't have a lot of time to just do nothing. I guess that makes sense. You're not a normal high school student like me. You've got tons of stuff to do every day. Um, hey, um, this is kind of out of nowhere, but... Makoto, could you... Did you... Do you have a dream? <laughs> well. What about you, Sayaka? What's your dream? I'd love to hear. I... I... My dream is... I've always wanted to be a star, as long as I can remember. I grew up without a mother, you know. And my dad worked really late every night. I was always home alone. I was just a kid, you know. So I was really lonely. But that all changed when I saw a pop star on TV for the first time. She was so pretty, like a princess. She could sing and dance. 
And more than anything else, there was her smile. Looking at her smile, I could feel my loneliness melting away. I decided that's what I wanted to be someday. I wanted to give th that kind of encouragement to others. <laughs> Eventually, that became my dream. That's so amazing, though. Oh, that's so amazing, though. You're able to actually fulfill your lifelong dream. Honestly, it's really incredible. I... I did whatever it took to reach that dream. I mean it. Even some things that weren't so pleasant. Huh? You see. I honestly believe that as long as you kept chasing your dreams, someday they had to come true. But to do that, you can't take your eyes off of your dream. Not even for a second. Even if sometimes it's a bad dream. Whether you're awake, whether you're asleep. To make your dream a reality, you have to keep your gaze fixed on it no matter what. Um... In that world, if you lose focus for even a split second, you get left behind. You have to keep on swimming against the current without even ta uh, taking time to breathe. That's the kind of dream of the world my dream lives in. Is it really that tough? Is it not fun at all? Oh no! Oh no, don't get me get the wrong idea, it's super fun. That's exactly what scares me. Huh? Uh, um... I enjoy every single day I wake up and get to do what I do. Everyone in our group is amazing. We're rivals in a way, but they all mean so much to me. We've been, we've been performing together since we were young, so they're all like family to me. Without them, I would have given up my dream a long time ago. To work together and fulfill our dream together has brought me so much happiness. But that's why... But well, that's the thing that scares me the most. If the world gets tired of us, then what happens? What happens to us? Then the dream dies. Those wonderful days come to an end, and everyone goes their separate ways. So, Sayaka. She's trembling. She must be terrified. She worked so hard, sacrificed so much, to get where she is. She must be terrified of losing it. You see. So that's the reason I decided to come to Hope's Peak. Huh? What do you mean? Uh, um... Well, they say that if you did graduate from here, success is basically guaranteed. Which means I could keep on performing with my best friends forever and ever. At least that's what I thought. I really did believe that, but... Now we're trapped in here, with no way out. They're probably waiting for me. <laughs> While I'm in here, the world out there is forgetting about me. Minute by minute, we're all disappearing. But still... Sayaka? Why? I can't afford Why? to be stuck here! That was the first time I heard her cry out from deep within herself. She sounds... desperate. But I can understand why she'd feel that way. Trapped here this way, the dream she put so much effort into. On the verge of disappearing forever. And that isn't something that can be fixed with a few kind words. The weight she's carrying, I can't even imagine it. Sorry. Uh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to complain. Uh, um... I kind of killed the mood, huh? No, not at all. Sorry. I'm really sorry. Hello, Phantom Sumi. Um, Sayaka. Actually, are you hungry? Before we head back, why don't we go to the dining room, the dining hall, and get some food? So, okay. you want to make us something to eat? I might not look it, but I'm actually a pretty good cook. Wow, really? What's your speciality? Chili oil. <laughs> you mean the condiment? <laughs> Just kidding. She bursts out laughing. Her earlier mood disappeared, replaced by the bright smile I'd quickly grown used to. But how'd it happen so fast? It was almost like a mask, like some kind of neutral expression. Yeah, Sayaka's quite funny. Anyway, we headed to the dining hall to get something to eat. Before returning to our rooms. Oh really, I'm looking forward to it. I tried to play this a couple of times and I think it's just, I don't know, another game comes along uh, and I kind of drop it, but this is as far as I've gotten it, which I, I understand is not that far. The only thing in my room is a fake sword covered in gold. All it does is make me feel that much more uncomfortable. 
Anyway, there's still plenty of time left in the day. <clears throat> if I don't feel like uh, just sitting here, maybe I'll take a look around. Oh, you're about to have your first experience with free time. Would you like to hear more? As you live out your school life here, you'll be given free time at certain points. During your free time, you can spend time with your fellow classmates to deepen your friendships. You can also give them presents, which can potentially give them an even better impression of you. You can get these presents from Mono Mono Machine, from the Mono Mono Machine in the school store. Come by early and often. At certain points, you'll witness intimate events, and new info will be added to each person's report card. These events can uh, also open up new skills, which will prove useful as everything plays out. We strongly encourage you to develop and deepen as many friendships as you can. Also keep in mind that when you talk with a classmate, time will pass. When you're finished, you'll automatically return to your room. After a certain amount of time passes, your free time will come to an end and the story will progress. Oh, who's your favourite so far? They're all kind of full of character. I like... Um, I like the guy that was a baseball star, now turned rock star, right? Or, like, he's now changed his dream from becoming a baseball star. He's my favourite. What's his name? If you prefer not to engage in free time, you can always choose to simply go to sleep or to skip it. Okay. Wouldn't recommend this approach, but if you absolutely must press forward with the story, then... Anyway. Why don't you try it out by spending some uh, time uh, with Miss Sayaka Marazona. Sayaka Marazona. She's the ideal partner to begin with. Don't you think? Oh, yeah. That, I think it is Leon, right? Um. <clears throat> anyway, I think we're going to call it there time for next time on Borderline Games. Okay, thank you for uh, watching so far, and if you're interested, make sure that you follow. Uh, we, uh, I'll be streaming uh, the rest of this uh, over the week. Um, I also upload on my YouTube channel. Make sure that you subscribe there. Uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you again next time. Bye-bye.